next up. Okay, it's Python on Hardware time. Blinka, blinka, blinka. Yeah. Blinka. So blinka. this week, uh, going to start off with yeah. some news. So Python has now become the number one programming language. This is um, uh, some index. Yeah, it's, it's an index. Yeah, know. it's an index. Well, we've covered this a yeah. long time, so they've been doing it well, long enough for people to agree that this is a resource. So it um, surpassed Java and, and C. And now well, it what's is interesting is actually more that Java and C dropped. I mean, Python has gone up, but you can see the popularity. I mean, I, interesting. More people are more people are writing different languages. It used to be just like look, look. Obviously, Java and C were like super dominating, and yeah. now it's like a bunch of languages are kind of coming up. JavaScript, and uh, PHP, and um, and Python, and SQL. Yeah. I don't know if I'd call it SQL a language, but I guess it is. So um, this is interesting for us because I feel like, uh, you know, that that quote from Wayne Gretzky that I think Steve Jobs later said is like, you got to skate where the puck is. So we thought that scripting languages were going to come to microcontrollers, and then we found other people who thought the same thing, and then we started to work on things like CircuitPython. So this is good news. If you're learning Python, you are an electronics expert, sort of already. Um, and I guess the only downside is it might be too easy to do electronics. What will you do with all that spare time instead of uh, being frustrated and angry? Um, the Moo editor is out. There's a beta. It's 1106 uh, or beta 6. It has multi-language support and a bunch of new features. Do check it out. Uh, we hit 3,000 closed pull requests in CircuitPython core. We get a lot of PRs and we merge them. We only yeah, have right. like a dozen open PRs at any one time. Um, not all of those PRs are actually merged. I think like 27 yeah. or 2,800 of them are. Sometimes we close them if they, if, you know, people end up sort of closing and reopening different ones. Um, people submit boards through a PR, uh, which is great. We have support for, you know, hundreds of different uh, boards in CircuitPython. And that's one of our, I think one of our big strengths is that we'll build all the boards for you in every language. Yeah. Um, we also have been doing merges. Today we started the merge with 117 from MicroPython upstream. So we're That's right. part of seven was, okay, we did the big catch up and now every time there's a new MicroPython release, we uh, keep up with them. Um, we fix bugs and do upstream uh, PRs. We also get everything from upstream to make sure that we're up to date with the language um, consistency. I think there's a couple of F-string things and uh, some async things that were merged in 117. Okay, uh, if you're into handheld gaming, there's a stage again library for CircuitPython was supported to the yes, Pimeroni Pico system. Yes, and this new Pico system is so cool. Yep, if you uh, think Python needs to be sped up, no problem. The uh, creator of Python will gladly talk about this on a podcast. Hair. Yeah, um, and then uh, just check out the rest of the odds and ends. We have a lot of stuff going on. Um, in the newsletter every single week. Uh, I've been following this. Professor John uh, Gallagher has uh, a whole series of videos and resources and more on CircuitPython. He's a professor, teaches computer science in school and more. At the and, Superior Boston University. Oh. and uh, Boston Area University. And uh, check this yeah. out because there's a lot of things like choosing board to run CircuitPython. A lot of stuff that uh, we come at it for people that are purchasing the hardware and then students come out in a different way and I think this is a, is a good resource. So um, next up, the thing that I usually try to do is find the thing that I wanna uh, show each week, kind of a highlight, and I think this week I'm gonna show a video. We got BASIC running on a Pi portal via CircuitPython. Yes. So that's cool, so I'm gonna play this video. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, you just sent me a link that you saw on Hackaday about a uh, basic interpreter written in Python. So you can actually kind of play around with basic and inter interpreters in Python, which is also interpreted. So it's kind of meta. Uh, this is uh, the code running on a Pi portal. The interpreter is in pure C Python and because CircuitPython is a subset of C Python, it just works, which is super neat. Um, you can see here I loaded the vectorial uh, basic sketch and I'm running it. I can also run another sketch. So let me, or basic file. Let's see, load, and then I think it's rock, paper, scissors, dot basic, and then run. Okay, what do you think, scissors? Yeah. Okay, cool, it's a draw. draw. Um, so you can check out the files are on, uh, you know, PyBasic from which PL, and yeah, you just drag the files over, and in your code.c file, you uh, import main and that's python on hardware news this week thank you blinka all right